Hey guys, it's Issa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to style your lace front wig. This was actually made with a closure and the hair that I used was actually Unice hair and I really like the quality of the hair. The hair is so beautiful, so easy to work with, very minimal shedding and easy to curl, easy to straighten. So... Let's go ahead and get on with this tutorial, you guys. Let's get it. Let's go. What I'm going to do is set my wig cap on. And I'm going to, there's like this little thing here. I'm just going to push it down and try to tuck it back. I like to have my wig cap be a little bit behind the hairline. Not too much, but just a, a tad bit. And I normally like to use a nude wig cap, but... This one should justify for now. I'm going to go ahead and use my got to be glue and I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my hairline which is over here and this is going to help the wig basically stay on all day. And by the way, this is my first wig that I've made guys and it has not been an issue for me to get it on. Some people use um, the free spray or whatever. I don't use that because uh, my sister has one and she hasn't brought it back yet. So anyways, you're going to put that on your crown like so. I want my wig to be a little bit more to this side. So then I'm going to hold it down like so. I kind of take my closure and bring that to the front too. and I like to use a scarf to kind of hold it down do it like this to put my scarf on and wait a couple minutes and while that's going on I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take my flat iron and I'm going to go ahead and start warming that up I've been wearing my hair curly the past couple days so I'm gonna go ahead and wear it straight today all right so I'm gonna remove my scarf right now and I'm gonna go ahead and just flat iron my hair um, real quick I want to see how this hair is going to flat iron guys to be honest I have not seen how this hair flat irons yet so we are gonna actually find out together like my flat iron is here good good straight straight honey Okay, sis. Looking good, looking good. straighten 
all of my hair. This is how it looks. I'm looking in the mirror over here. You guys probably can't see it. My hair is a little bit frizzy towards the ends. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. Probably you can't tell on camera. I love to use this stuff called Perfect for Perm to get rid of like a little bit of frizz. And this is um, polishing gloss. So don't need much. Add about a dime size to kind of give it a little bit of shine. You feel me? And I don't put this on my roots at all. I just kind of get that towards the end. And after I add the polishing gloss, I'll brush my hair again and just kind of pass the flat iron a little bit more just to kind of, you know, get that to settle in. So this usually controls the frizz a little bit better. There we go. Some baby hairs. Y'all know it ain't, it ain't the best thing if y'all don't create them baby hairs you feel me it just creates a more realistic look so i'm gonna go down i don't cut the baby hairs guys i just kind of take the baby hairs from the bottom like kind of like this if you guys can see and i make them even thinner like as thin as i can my fingers um I kind of like to take them really thin and kind of just like spread them out kind of like this as you guys can see. I like to kind of pin my hair back over here. Um, kind of like this. Turn off the flat iron and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Take baby hairs come over here kind of like that I just like to continue pulling up hairs until it looks thin enough to my liking I guess you could say because I don't use all of this for my baby hairs. I just take a certain section and I swoop it. Okay guys, so I'm not really good at laying my baby hairs. So just watch <laughs> with the voiceover how I do it because I can't really explain what I'm doing. And to you, I'm gonna use some got to be glue, which works wonders. I didn't even have to use the blast spray or anything like people say. I just kind of go ahead and just add it in there. I feel like if you put a scarf over your head, it will lay without a problem. So, yeah. So I go ahead and lay my baby hairs down after I styled. I never do my baby hairs before I style. I don't know why. You could do it before or after. It really is up to you. But I kind of like to do it when everything is done. That way I don't have to touch everything up. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Okie dokie. And then after this is pretty much done because I don't know why it's doing that. Alright, 
I'll go ahead and take my hair from the back that was clipped up and I'll take my brush and I'll brush over the baby hairs okay brush over it final last step is I'm going to go ahead and add some foundation to kind of cover up the lace that's in the middle. I'm not going to OD with the foundation. It's really not that deep. But literally like so. You can use concealer because I like concealer a little better. But it really doesn't matter. I like to use powder, not liquid, but this is liquid, just so you guys know. Boom. Right down the middle. like to pat a little bit over here too right in the center and there you have it guys that is how you style your lace front wig it is looking the bomb.com you can't even tell it's looking like everything guys so yeah guys this is how you style your lace front weight i really love it it's super cute okay you're out here looking like a snack okay <laughs>